Uh, hey guys, welcome to a, another episode of Resident Evil 2. Uh, in the last episode, we kind of just went, you know, like we found out that like the Raccoon City has a bunch of zombies in there. And you may notice that we're playing as uh, uh, Chris Redfield's sister, Claire Redfield, who is an absolute baddie. What? So we're just going to explore the station today. It's going to be similar to what we did with Leon's campaign. We're just going to explore the station a little bit and see what we can find. Um, we got a green herb. The magical herbs, man. Magical herbs. We got some bullets. I... Oh, wait. Mm, I forgot you have to... Yeah, that's fun. Dude, anyway, um, so. Mm. What? Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Oh. I love how she goes, oh, poor guy. Like, she genuinely cares. But, like, Sarah. like um, Leon is just like, oh, what is this? Like, I think it's so funny how much more Claire cares about these people. Like, when the guy got ripped in half in the last episode, she's like, no. Like, like freaking dying. She's like, no. And, like, feels really bad for him. But, like, it was Leon, he just looks at him and is like, oh, that's, that's a little weird. September 25th, so we're joining the station to a temporary shelter. Uh, one of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, so yeah, a bunch of people are dying. That's fun. <laughs> What's here? Oh, we got the map. Let's go, boys. We got the map. I don't have pliers. Anything else in here that I'd want? More ammo. I'll have to take some of that. Oh, I'm afraid. Fight me. Goodbye. Nah. What's really funny is like now that I think about it, I remember like seeing a bunch of reviews on the game and almost like a bunch of reviews I saw was like, yeah, I enjoyed Claire's campaign more than Leon's. And I'm like, I think Leon is I think Leon's campaign was like a little bit more well written than Claire's was but Claire's an absolute baddie so this way it's so much more fun to play like you don't know guys also it's really funny playing this because like I played on the Xbox one obviously like the first time I played this campaign it's really the only time I ever played this campaign but it's kind of funny because now I'm like hearing like the the click a lot more things. So like for those of you who don't know, because like the PS5 also like makes this so the noises are also like a little bit more like you can hear them better. And I get bro, I could not hear like a lot of the stuff that I am like whenever like she reloads her gun because it's a freaking revolver. She drops stuff on the floor and you can hear how many bolts he dropped on the floor by like the number of things that you hear from that. Oh, come on, man. That is not very nice. Too bad it's not like RE6 or, or like 5 where I just stomp on him and then I'm okay. I have to run. Oh yeah, and this is basically the thing that's saying like you need to find these uh, spare keys. I can do that. And I sure need to do that. Okay, let's go to the west office. I wonder what RPD would have been like. Handgun ammo. So gunpowder X2. Acid rounds. Acid rounds. Gunpowder plus high grade gunpowder and submachine gun ammo. High grade gunpowder white X2. There's not a lot of la ammo left around the station. So make good use of any gunpowder you find. Uh, different guns require different ammo. So pay attention when you're combining di things or you won't get what you need. Rook 
Marquis' first assignment, so Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to the, your success is the, in the initials of our first names. Input the letters in order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Basically, uh, your first task is to remember your fellow officer's name, but you figured that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Uh, Lieutenant Branagh, scrawled in corner between drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, rookie. All right, if I remember correctly, one of them is Ned, or something like that. Is it this one that's Ned? Yeah, I think it's this one that's Ned. Yep, I'm so smart. Because it's JP Ford. So this operation report. Oh, uh, yeah, so that's, yeah, Elliot Edward, who was the guy that freaking got ripped in half in the first episode. Uh, and whatever this one is, you yeah, see, Neil. So that, it's that. Oh, no. So, I don't remember. This is a little harder to do. Rita Phillips Marvin, that's M-R. Hello, good sir. Oh, that's nasty. Where do I even see where... I'm not gonna lie, I can't really find what this is. Um, frick. I think I remember what it was, though. Unless this guy is on it, which would... Kinda suck. I think it's an S, if I remember correctly. So, what is it? Sorry, that was my phone. Uh, if you guys heard that. I think it's MRG. Yeah, it's MRG. I think the guy's name was like Gabe or whatever that was. Here's what's really funny about this. Because this is a, a speed reloader and it's for our gun. So, that basically means that we don't have to reload all the bullets one at a time, which is really nice. But it'd be really funny for Leon to open this and be like... Oh, guys, like, this is nice and all, but, like, this isn't my gun that I'm using because he uses the Matilda, like, and then everyone there is like, oh, crap, like, that'd be kind of funny. Oh, hello, good sir. How, how are you? Hey, look, I, hey, look, um, I'm like, mm, hey, hey, pal, I'm 19, all right? I'm just saying, uh. I am okay. You were probably like forty years old, all right. You don't you don't have to go crazy over me. I think I'm good with Leon anyway. All right, all right. So I know that like you're supposed to like find a paper and crap, but I do remember thinking that I remember how to do this crap. I swear I remembered. Um. I think it's like seven and then you go like 15 and then you go like nine okay that's not correct I do not remember super well but I, I do know it's those numbers I do know it's, just, it's those numbers I just frick the order dude I don't remember I mean, I don't really care, but like, you know. Oh, I remember now. It's like left nine, and then it goes right fifteen. Oh, screw this, man. No, <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Okay, it's like left nine, right fifteen, and then left seven. Yep, that's it. That's it. I'm so smart. I'm I'm better than everyone, and I got a hit patch. Let's go, boys. Oh, did I get everything in here? I got everything in here. Um, I said let's go upstairs and see if there's anything else around. I've never gotten this familiar with the police station my entire life because I've never you know, been in one or ever wanted to be in one. Because I am afraid of police because I can't go back to jail. Yeah, let's take that herb. The wooden door. I must say you, good sir, are going to stay out there. He's like, no! <laughs> oh, yeah, so like green herbs uh, heal basic injuries, while blue herbs leave poisoning. Red herbs, um, combining them 
strengthens uh, one of the herbs. So, like, basically, a green herb plus a red herb is a full heal, basically. Uh, I don't think... It's basically, a, yeah, you see that? A green herb would only get you up, like, a little bit, while a red herb would get you up, like, full away with all of it. Film contains evidence. Do not leave out. I meant to do this. Can I remember the photo. Oh, so we have to get that weird king guy. I, I know who... I know where he is. Um... This was Caden's playthrough, and this is mine. This is mine. Yep, there it is. Uh, it will let you know, like, it will show you, like, what, which one it is if you're, like, on your second story. Because it does distinguish the two of them. I remember playing this game for the first time. Uh, like, Claire's story. And I thought that, like, Claire's story was going to be what she was doing during Leon's campaign. Because I knew Leon's campaign was the main one, because that was the one that carried over into, like, Resident Evil 2. Like, like 4, I mean. Like, you like you played that campaign, you're like, this is what leads to Resident Evil 2. 4. I am so smart. I think this one is, like, crap. I don't remember what this one is. I think it's like cap. If I remember correctly, I think it's something like cap, but if that's not the case, oh my gosh. It was. And we got flame rounds? Oh my. I forgot about that. <laughs> Portable safe instructions. So press a button to light up its corresponding lamp. Light them all up to open the safe. Uh, the buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order will cause all the lights to go out and you will need to set the lights. And oh, I remember those. Yeah, they're fun. There's nothing in there, and there's some flame rounds. What the frick are we using? Examining items. I knew this. You just... You have to do this, then you have to do that. What the frick? Oh my gosh, this game sucks. Come on, man. Son of... Oh my gosh, that was dumb. Alright, whatever. We got the spare key that we can use to get more crap in there. Um, we can't go through here. What was that? You just heard it go... Uh, I don't know, so... Those of you who... Uh, so, oh my gosh, that was a one-tap, dude. That was awesome. It went bam -o. And the guy went... Bleh. I've noticed that sometimes with like your guns, if you don't use them for a little while and then you shoot it, like sometimes, like if you do like a right in the head, it goes like boom. Like it's like way more powerful than like your other shots. Also, we were getting way more ammo than I thought we were going to. I remember like I was playing like Claire's campaign once and like, yeah, no, like the first time I did it and I got like so much freaking ammo. Submachine gun ammo. That's kind of dope. And I got a key. That's nice. Alright, so we can explore here. What the frick was that? Dude, I feel nauseous being in here. I'm just like, ugh. Dude, and I don't even have room for any of this crap. This is the west storage room, so we will need to come back here for one of those pieces. You know? That thing? Oh my gosh, it's like hazy in here. It's weird. Claire, it's Marvin. How fast can you get back here? Why? What's up? I mean, fairly fast. Something to show you. It's important. All right, I'm on my way. I figure why doing that. Let's try going this way. That way we can explore more of the station. <laughs> ah. Um, hi. What the hell is up with you? 
I would like to get if you get out of my way. The red book. Oh, I need that. Man, there's so much crap in here that I need, but like I can't do it right now. Oh, so this is gonna be nice because this shows you like where you are on the upper floors. I think we can discard this red herb. I don't think we need it. It's whatever. Like I don't care that much about using it. This, on the other hand, we need this. Because this is the officer instructions. So we so for this unicorn thing we need a fish, a little lobster man, and the water. The fish, the little lobster guy, and the water. Yep, that's it. Usually people don't get this one first, it's just like this is how we're playing it right now, and you guys will be okay with it. Oh, she- oh, he just freaking went for the kill. You see that? He just went- oh, he opened the door and went BAMO. Do I not have my knife? I have my knife. I wonder why it didn't let me- allow me to- let me pull it out. Whatever, it's fine. We'll use the key. I love how, like, old-fashioned this game is. Like, you look at some of the stuff that's, like, going on, like, you don't see keys like that being used in modern day. You saw it in 1998, but you don't see it now. It's kind of interesting. There you are. Come here. What is it? Take a look. Oh my, oh my God, gosh, it's Leon. You know him? Yeah, it's Leon. Uh, Kennedy, I think. Oh, the rookie. Thought he looked familiar. Ah, yes. You can make it to that courtyard. Second floor, east side. Okay. Thanks, Marvin. I'm on it. Hmm. I feel like there's still more we can do. I mean, I remember last time we did that, we still found out that Claire was still uh, alive, and we're like, you know, let's we'll find uh, her, him. That I'm, I'm so smart. So Elliot was right. Yeah, but we're not out of here yet. Unfortunate for everyone involved, but whatever, because I still get to look at Claire's booty and it's kind of amazing. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Um, what's here? I get lion, wheat, or whatever the frick that is, and bird. So we get my dad. <laughs> uh, we get the frickin' giant leaf from Breath of the Wild, and we also get the fat bird. And we get our second medallion. My question, how does this even exist? Because, like, these all medallions, they all exist in crap. But, like, who engineered this to all line up here? And, like, who engineered the, like, because, like, for those of you who don't know, later on in the game, you have to, like, en there's, like, this engineering elevator that leads to here again. So, like, who built all this crap and who planned for all this crap to be used? Like... They, they, is this never acknowledged? Because, like, it sure is never acknowledged here. Like, what? Like, I don't get all that crap. Um, oh, there's something at the end of the hall, I thought. No, just some ammo. Okay, yeah, I think this isn't a bad place to end off the episode, though. Uh, I said I was going to continue it, but, like, I think it's all right to end off here. Um, so, guys... Uh, I'd like to thank you for so much for watching the video. Um, please, you know, like, like, and subscribe if you did enjoy because, you know, it's always, like, helpful and helps, like, spread the channel and help more people actually enjoy it. So, you know, hope you guys understand. And with th that being said, I think I'm going to end, uh, yeah, I'll see you later, gamers.